Hey guys, it's been a little minute since I made a video, um, so I figured I would do just a short haul video. Um, I grabbed a couple of things over these past few weeks. Um, I honestly, they weren't big shopping hauls, so that's why I kind of waited. And so I just had a couple little things gathered up to go ahead and just do a quick haul for you guys. Um, a little bit from Dollar General and a little bit from Dollar Tree is what I'm going to be showing you. Um, I am going to be working on some gnomes, so if anybody wants to see, um, I know I already have some gnome tutorials posted already, but I'm going to be making some summertime and beachy name, uh, yeah, names, <laughs> gnomes. Um, so if anybody wants to see those tutorials, let me know in the comment section below and I will upload those for you guys. Okay, so... Over the past couple of weeks, I've stopped at, I actually have not been to Dollar Tree. I was there yesterday for the first time in, honestly, a couple of weeks. So, a couple of weeks ago, I went, I went yesterday, and then I also stopped at Dollar General today. So, we're going to go ahead and start with the Dollar Tree items. Um, so, they have this rope. It was over in the, like, um, flower section. I don't have the tag on it because I actually bought this rope along with this piece of wood from Dollar Tree because I was going to make my um, chickens a swing. But I don't know if this is going to be... I don't know. I think I want to make them a wider one, so I don't know if this is going to work out. But I did get it there. Um, if I can't use it for the chickens, I will definitely use it for something else. So that's not a big deal. I also found um, some more fabric, like the nautical fabric with the sailboats and like the compass on it. And then also more of the mermaid. Now, when I went today, or not today, but yesterday, I did not find any more of this fabric because I actually wanted to get some for my beach gnomes or my nautical gnomes, but they were completely out of this. So, um, I think I am missing a bag because I did find some other fabric. Give me one minute, guys. Okay, yep, I forgot a bag. So... I was looking for fabric items for the gnomes, so what I found there is they had some solid colors like this light blue here. So I picked up a blue one, and then they had this kind of, I mean, I guess it's kind of tie-dye, tie it kind of reminds me of water. So I figured that would be cute for um, beachy or nautical gnomes. They also had these um, bandanas. It's a two-piece set, so you get two different types of um, bandanas there. Now, when I was at Dollar General today, I did see that they had a pack of three. They were smaller, and I don't remember how much they were. Um, I actually was going to get a pack, and then when I went back to find them, I couldn't find them again. So I'm not sure how much they were, but Dollar Tree does have bandanas. They're probably about, at least the way it looks from the package, they're probably about maybe half or a little more like shorter than these ones are, but they could just be folded. I really didn't pay attention to like the dimensions or anything, but they did have some cute colors there and you got three in that pack. Um, also from Dollar Tree, you guys. So I found, I think I found him previously and, and him, which I definitely have now two of these. I wasn't sure which ones I had. It shows you the collection on the back. So I wanted to make sure I got all of them. Me and my husband, we do pick up toys at times, especially for me, Nickelodeon type um, toys. I love to have them. Um, we like to display them. So I end up finding all five of them. So you have Hey Arnold, you have um, Ren, Spongebob, Patrick, and look how cute Stimpy is. Like, look how cute. I used to love this show. My mom thought it was gross, but <laughs> they do have, like, pictures of other Nickelodeon cartoons on there. So maybe there are other sets, but this is the only set that I have seen so far, so... Definitely cute. Definitely pick it up if you're a Nickelodeon kid like I was. So, really cute. Um, I did find some solar lights. I'm not sure if I show these in another haul or not, but 
I got these for my front steps. Um, I want to find the little ones that you actually put on your steps. I think they call them step lights or maybe fence lights. So I'm keeping an eye out for those, but this says realistic flame light. And I do like the ones that flicker. My daughter actually got us a pair of like Halloween ones that are like similar to this, but they have like a little Halloween silhouette on them. They were really cute. I think she found them at um, Dollar General. But they lasted for, I want to say two years, and then they kind of died out. So I needed some more. Um, I know I've showed these before. I've hauled them before. Um, I use these for my wreaths. Um, I believe I posted a 4th of July um, gnome wreath video that I use these on. So I picked up another pack because I do plan on making more of those wreaths. Um, just a couple food items here. I found these um, Chester's Popper. It's jalapeno cheese whirls. And I've never seen these before. And these actually I did not find at Dollar Tree. I found it at um, one of my local grocery stores. Um, I know that Dollar General has different kinds of M&Ms, but I'm not sure if they have these. But these are crunchy cookie. What I'm doing um, with some of these food items is I'm putting them aside and then my son and I are going to do some taste test videos in the future. So I'm kind of stocking up a little pile here for us to try like new stuff out. Probably mostly Dollar Tree items, but we'll see. So be on the lookout for those videos. We're going to go ahead and incorporate those into my channel. I also found, you guys, look how cute these little wooden mermaids are. I'm kind of... And look, they have little starfish, literally. It's like an actual starfish. I mean, of course not real, but, whoops. On her hand. Like, look how cute that is. So I picked up four, of, no, three of these. Because I'm working on some anchor wreaths um, that I had showed you guys previously. I figured those would be a perfect accent for my anchor wreaths or a beach wreath. Super cute. I know they did have ones that were just the mermaid tail, and I believe I showed those in a shop with me video where it was just the tail, but I mean, I love mermaids. I have a mermaid tattoo. I just, mermaids are my thing. I like them. Um, also, Dollar Tree, I'm going to do a shop with me video sometime soon because they have gotten some really cute stuff in. They have this, they call it Sparkle Mesh. Now, I haven't opened one of these yet. It kind of almost feels like tool, but I'll have to let you guys know. But I bought two of these. They had different colors there. And then wait till you see these ribbons. If you guys are doing the nautical or beachy type DIYs right now, go to Dollar Tree because, and this isn't even all that they had. These are just the ones that I picked up that I thought were cute. But you guys, look at these anchors with the what do they call that there's a lighthouse there's seashells there are seahorses with like coral sailboats more seahorses super cute and these like i said these are not even all of the ones that they had there so if you're looking for nautical or beachy ribbon dollar tree they have a variety Also, um, nothing spectacular, but I picked up some of these 8-inch wreath rings that Dollar Tree has. You do get two in a pack for $1.25. I never realized that. So, me and my husband were there yesterday, and he pointed that out, and I was like, oh, yes, please. Because two is better than one, for sure. So, you get two of them, $1.25. I think that is it for Dollar Tree. So, moving along to Dollar General. Um, they have these like on their clearance rack. They're the fudge brownie M&Ms. I like these, so I picked those up. My husband likes them also. And I've definitely hauled these before, but 
some stuff that I'm going to be making. I wanted to make sure that I have the colors. So I have two white, one blue, one yellow, and one red of the Model Magic. So I really like this stuff. Um, I haven't made a whole, whole lot out of it, but the couple things that I did make, I do like it. Um, you can make all kinds of stuff out of these. So if you like doing fake bakes or... I know on my bee gnome, my teacup bee gnome that I made, I made like the bumblebee and like the honey wand or whatever it's called. And you can, I, I've painted them and haven't had an issue with it, so. They also have these, um, it says assorted party cups, so they kind of look like shot glasses, 24 in the pack. These were a dollar. Um, it looks like they come in like pink, green, orange. This might be a yellow, but I think it's a green. But I picked up these because I think I might be able to use these as like little cups for my gnomes, if my summer gnomes that I'm going to be making. So I thought these were pretty cute. And $24 for a dollar is not bad. Um, I also picked up these milk chocolate stars. I honestly have no idea what these are. Um, it just says milk chocolate, cocoa butter, whole milk, chocolate liquor. So they might be filled with something. Let's open it up and see. So it just smells chocolatey. That's what it looks like in the bag. And they're just like these little stars of chocolate, apparently. So... Doesn't look like they're filled with anything. It just tastes like chocolate. So I'm not sure. They do look a little dry though, don't they? If you like chocolate, there's you know, they don't taste weird or anything. But I thought they would they would have something in the middle, but apparently not. Also found this little moo cow kind of hanging. Um, it has like the chicken wire in a frame. Um, this was a dollar. I have a chicken one out um, next to my chicken coop, but I got this because I made a sign previously with um, like a metal cow that I found at Dollar General, but they didn't have any of those there. So I just grabbed this because. I'm going to make more of these signs, which I've hauled these stickers before, but it says, welcome to the farmhouse. And I plan on making more of the signs up. So I definitely at least wanted one cow because I'm going to kind of, I'll show you guys the sign that I made here in a second. Um, but I got one of the cows to kind of go with this. And then the other one, I'm just going to put something else with it. So, oh, I got three of them. So I'll be making three of them, apparently, then. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a craft show, my first craft show um, in July, so I'm really excited about that. But I have to get my butt into gear and get stuff made for that to make sure I have, you know, a pretty good stockpile of things. So, which I do have some things made, but definitely want to get, I would like to get a bunch of gnomes made up is what I'm really aiming for. Some gnomes, some signs, and some wreaths, so... We'll see how that goes. I'll probably take you guys with me um, when I go and give you guys a sneak peek at it. But let me go ahead and show you that sign that I made with the other cow. So just to kind of show you um, the welcome to the farmhouse stickers. And then that's the other cow that I found. And it came with this little like wire hanger. And then I just put some holes into the sign and hung the cow there. So that's how that turned out. And real quick... Um, the model magic, literally I made the bees and this little honey wand here out of it. So I really like using it. Um, I got the idea for using the model magic for this kind of stuff from, um, she's called Peep This Y'all. She does fake bakes, and let me tell you, if you guys have not seen her channel, go check it out, because she does amazing things. 
um, with like fake foods, fake bakes. So I definitely watch her videos to get inspiration because she does awesome job and she gives you like tips and tricks and everything. So, so I think that's it guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I will probably be posting some DIY tutorials here shortly. Um, I've just been really busy lately, so it's kind of taken a back seat, but I'm getting back into it now. And like I said, especially for the craft show. So if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like the content, please like and share. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love talking to you guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.